this part is over. Darkness rises and light to meet it. Obi-Wan Kenobi, later known as Ben Kenobi, was a force-sensitive human male and Jedi Master who served the Galactic Republic. He was a mentor and close friend to both Anakin Skywalker and his son, Luke Skywalker, training them both in the ways of the Force. Born on the planet Stujan, Kenobi became the Padawan learner of Jedi Master Qui-Gon Jinn. Kenobi then became the first Jedi in a millennium to defeat a Sith Lord when he defeated Darth Maul during the Battle of Naboo. During the battle, Jinn was mortally wounded by Maul and perished in Kenobi's arms. At Jinn's behest, Kenobi took Anakin Skywalker to be his own Padawan, training him during the decade leading up to the Clone Wars. During the Clone Wars, Skywalker was made a Jedi Knight, while Kenobi, as a result of his military success in the Outer Rim, was granted the title of Jedi Master and named to the Jedi Council. The two Jedi fought alongside each other as generals many times. In the last days of the Clone Wars, Skywalker turned to the dark side, betraying the Jedi. Skywalker's new Sith Master, Supreme Chancellor Palpatine, used Order 66 to destroy the Jedi Order, though Kenobi survived and reunited with another survivor, Grand Master Yoda. Kenobi confronted Skywalker, who had now taken the name Darth Vader on Mustafar, and the two dueled. Kenobi emerged the victor, gravely wounding Vader and remorsefully leaving him for dead. However, as Palpatine established the Galactic Empire in place of the Galactic Republic, Vader was rehabilitated, though he was forced to rely on a cybernetic suit for life support. Obi-Wan Kenobi. I wonder if he means Old Ben Kenobi. Well, I don't know anyone named Obi-Wan, but Old Ben lives out beyond the Dune Sea. He's kind of a strange old hermit. Kenobi went into exile on Tatooine, where he would watch over Vader's newborn son, Luke Skywalker, who he took to live with his aunt and uncle, Baru and Owen Lars. Seventeen years later, he eventually confronted his old enemy Maul, who he again defeated in a brief duel. As the former Sith lay dying in Kenobi's arms, the two finally made peace, and Maul stated that Luke would avenge them both. Two years after the death of Maul, Kenobi received a message via R2-D2 from Leia Organa, asking for help in the Rebel Alliance against the Empire. The droid contained the plans to the Death Star, a battle station created by the Empire capable of destroying planets, and the plans needed to be taken to Bail Organa on Alderaan. After Luke Skywalker's aunt and uncle were killed by Imperial forces searching for the plans, Skywalker agreed to join Kenobi on the mission and be trained as a Jedi. The pair were taken to Alderaan by Han Solo, only for them to discover that the planet had been destroyed by the Death Star. Their ship, the Millennium Falcon, was captured by the Death Star's tractor beam, and Kenobi was confronted by Darth Vader. Vader and Kenobi dueled again, and Kenobi allowed Vader to kill him so that Luke and his companions could escape the Death Star. In the following years, as Luke continued fighting for the Rebel Alliance, Kenobi continued to give him guidance as a Force Spirit, including directing Luke to the planet Dagobah, where Luke received training from one of Obi-Wan's masters, Grand Master Yoda. Join me next time as we cover the free agent, Ahsoka Tano. If you're new here to the channel, subscribe and join the Dreamwalkers on our journey. Hit that bell for notifications and be sure to check out the Rancor Report, where we cover Star Wars news, reviews, theories, and clues. We do what we love, and I hope you love what we do. This has been Star Wars Legends. Until next time. This part is over.